Oh, okay, well, um, I spent all morning doing something I didn't really plan on doing, which was cutting two little pieces of metal, stainless, on my little lathe. Anyway, I got it, so uh, I learned a few things in the process, but here's what I got. EPG, that's what I'm focusing on. What comes with the EPG? The gas processor. So I've done some rethinking on uh, the original gas processor and how I think I should work. Um, I have some stainless tubes right here, which uh, everyone has seen a while back. Okay, I'll show you what they are. And um, basically, you've got the center tube that you've seen before. All right, and the outer casing tube. Um, with the slots cut in it for the LEDs. All right, for those of you who have not seen the gas gun um, that I built, you need to check out the other videos and you can see how it's assembled, but I'm going to go through that again so you don't have to review that. Here's what I got. All right, this is what I did. Now the thing is, is that the corona discharge, that's what we're looking for, is a corona discharge. We're ionizing the air, um, or the oxygen, I should say. Now, are you going to run HHO through this processor? I don't know yet. Right now we're just going to do ambient air. Okay, because I don't trust running hydrogen and oxygen through this device yet. We may try it someday, but I don't know if I want to yet. So, the corona discharge has to do with a fine point. Uh, when you have a fine point, you have a nice corona discharge. If you have a huge plate and a huge plate, you have to have extremely high voltage just to get a nice corona field across that. So, what I've done is I've rethink this design. What, what can I do to make a nice corona discharge? Um, so, these two tubes are you know pretty close together um, and that right there will just allow voltage to jump across without actually building up corona discharge so in the process of rethinking how I'm gonna do this here's what I've done okay I'm gonna show you what I've done here and then I'm gonna show you that it works which is awesome so here's what I got that little piece of stainless steel took me a while to make um, same thing on the bottom, if it'll focus, there you go. Now this one is thicker, and this one up here is actually extremely thin. And the reason, come on camera, the reason that it's so thin is because this bottom one needs to have a bolt sit against it so that I can actually transfer the energy through this tube without the whole thing being open. So actually what I did is I cut round stock, I, mill, I uh, machined it down to fit this tube, and then I milled three slots in it, okay? And then I went back and I cut these off to where I wanted it and drilled them holes. Now, I had these teeny tiny drill bits set, okay? And I actually had the right size bit for the wire that I'm gonna be using, stainless steel wire. And uh, as you can see, that didn't work out very well. I snapped it off. Um, and then I had to try to figure out how to drill it out and this and that. So now I've got all this slop right here. Bunch of slop. And what I'll probably do is end up making a little bitty cone. Cutting that in as a cone shape or, or a bevel. And then my wire will have a bevel bead. And those two bevels will sit together and center the wire. Right now it works the way it is, so I'm happy with that but I can make it better. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go shut the lights off. I've got this, uh, this is, D okay, real quick, AC, DC ionizers. Uh, uh, yeah, this here is what I told you guys a while back I was gonna be using, okay? It's a air ionizer, and what it does is create ozone. Now the problem with that is that it's an AC circuit. It's constantly producing close to an equal amount of positive and negative ions. Um, it's not what I want, or oxygen, or whatever you want to call it. It's not what I want. So I did, some, I did some more research. DC is what I want. So that's what I'm playing with. And when you have DC, you get either abundant of one or other um, positive or negative ions, depending on if it's positive or negative. So uh, that will not work. And now I'm moving back to this assembly and making it what I want. Um, so I'm going to go shut the lights off and I'm going to prove to you that this will produce a nice Corona discharge. Exactly what I want. Alright, so I'm back and before I get, I wanted to inform you, Sunday night, 
that's uh, two days from now I should be going live earlier in the evening so those of you who would like to catch me who normally can't catch it because I'm on so late I should be on earlier I'm talking seven to eight o'clock so yeah all right back to the gas gun I had to say that before I forgot now I'm gonna um yeah, it should be okay. I actually I stretched this wire a little bit the wrong way. Yeah, it'd probably still be okay. All right, so uh, basically I'm gonna show you this, but I'll turn this monitors off so you can see it in the pitch black. I've got a Variac hooked up to this high voltage supply. Okay, this is 10,000 volts. If I remember right, yeah, 10,000 volts. And I'm just gonna turn it up here. Oh, well. <laughs> I gotta make sure I keep this stuff separated. All right, try it again. All right, that's really hard to see, so I'm gonna shut these lights off. And if I can get this camera to focus, not not focusing very well. Um. Just pitch black in it. There you go. There, right there. See that line? That line is that wire inside. It's actually putting off a really nice corona discharge. Let's go ahead and capture it from the top. I'm having a hard time myself finding it. There we go. Right there it is. Zoom in. Sorry about this bad footage. That's about as bad that's about as good as I can get it. So there you can see all the way down that tube. See that nice corona discharge. Okay. So there it is. Um Sorry that it's not any brighter. It's actually pretty darn bright when I look at it. It's a really bright UV color. Um, and I can smell the ozone coming off of it. So it's definitely producing ions. So, let me turn this stuff back on. And, uh... You can still see it there. Uh... There you go. Now, now the camera can focus. You can actually see it a lot better. Sorry, I'm at an angle, but there you go. Um, so that, my friends, is Corona discharge. That's what I'm looking for. I wish I could get a little bit better shot of that, but I just can't. There's a really nice shot of it. Okay, so you can tell that you're you're getting I'm getting a nice corona discharge I wish I could focus past that point it won't really focus past the hole anyway I'm getting a nice corona discharge um, terribly sorry about this terrible camera work uh, but yeah so um, now you know that this works the way I'd like it to. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go show the turn the lights back on. All right, so I'm probably gonna be running out of time, but I just wanted to show you that, and I'm gonna turn it off because I'm s terribly smelling this ozone, and it's very bad um, to be breathing all the time. So, this light assembly shines through those cavities, okay, and produces. Um, it doesn't produce anything. It, it helps the process of removing electrons from the oxygen because the wavelength is the correct wavelength to actually do that. I'm not going to go into explaining that. I'm going to be running out of time. Uh, live show, EPG. I will be finishing the coils. I just ordered, thanks to a few donations, thank you guys, I ordered some connectors. I'm going to put connectors on every one of those wires and wire them however I want and that way I have options. And then when I figure out what I like, I'll run the bus bars. So that's it, Russ, with RWG Research. Like uh, Hawk says, have fun. What else do you say, Hawk? Anyway, I enjoy your videos. Um, that's it. Peace out. Uh, for the live show, I will be going live early Sunday. 
okay? You can uh, find out how I go live or where to watch it at on the link in the description. Peace and love, guys. Thank you for your support. Let's do it.